My name is Kennedy Kiongo. I'm 29 years old. I produce avocado oil. I've been in this industry for the past uh, seven years. I started my research back in 2015, guided by my mentor, and we were able to have a prototype for the setup we have right now. My invention is uh, the basic setup. We came up uh, with this uh, kind of a setup as a result of a process we used when we were kids for drying clothes. We used to dry our clothes on top of sulfuria with boiling water. We used to leave those, that, those uh, clothes till morning and we used to wear them dry for school. So when I was doing uh, research on avocado oil, I figured that I would need an efficient dryer to dry the fruit. I consulted my uncle who is my mentor and we designed a machine that was very basic uh, that processed around 50, that dried around 50 kgs of fruit in a day. The basic procedure is we first uh, connect the setup and then we peel the avocado and we extract the pulp. So the pulp, we spread it on the dryers, and then we fire up the boiler. Which produces steam. Now the steam, uh, by action of pressure, moves to the dryers. The dryers heat up to around 70 degrees centigrade, and they start expelling the water from the pulp. The dryer uses the same principle as the Sifuria was using by heating up the top tray, which in turn heats up the pulp, which uh, expels the water to a crispy, dry uh, crust. After three to four hours, we scrap the pulp off the drying trays. And then uh, we take it to the press. And then we press the action of hydraulic. Once we press, we collect the oil and we package it in drums. Our machine will consume 10 tons of fruit in a day, working it 10 hours. We wanted to have a system where there is no waste. And our, a system where our waste is also useful in our process. We take the waste to a, another facility that we have and we process it into briquettes. We use the briquettes for our boilers. Getting into the industry, avocado oil industry, is a very expensive affair. To have a setup uh, processing the same quality of oil our machine is processing and the same capacity, uh, it's upwards of uh, 40 million Kenya shilling. And that's not inclusive of the production uh, requirements. Currently we have three contracts to supply oil to Italy, the kind of oil we are producing from this setup. We started selling locally to uh, saloons, cosmetics, uh, cosmetic shops, and it has proved to be of a good grid to the point where our customers are happy with the product we are presenting to them. My name is Patrick Miner, and I'm a loctician, a hairdresser, and I've been doing this for the last five years. Since I started using avocado oil on my customers, they don't have complaints because there's no blockage of their hair. There is no itchiness and there is a lot of moisture in their, you know, on their hair.
My name is Dr. Frederick Madaraka Mwema, a lecturer in mechanical engineering, specializing in materials and manufacturing. And basically, uh, I deal with the innovations and inventions. Ken, I've seen uh, your innovation. Uh, you're using steam to to dry the the avocado pulp okay. for oil generation. Yeah. It's an exciting uh, innovation. Thank you. And uh, I'm very happy to see that. Okay. Uh, I have seen uh, the, the the extraction mm. of the pulp. Okay. It's uh, done by a group of ladies. Yeah. Have you considered having a, a machine to extract the pulp? Even though we still want to employ so many people as much as we can, eh? we are also, also thinking about ways of how to make the process even more efficient. Uh, we've been brainstorming on some, some ideas, like having a centrifuge extractor for the pulp, where people just do the cutting manually, and the, the fruits, the, now the half, fruits are put in the centrifuge extractor. And now when you spin it, uh, but it has to be very ripe. So it, it pushes away the fruit into a collecting, uh, into a, into a collecting uh, pot or bowl. So we've been uh, thinking of such, we've been thinking of chopper grind, of a chopper grinder. We are brainstorming on so many ways of how to do it. We want to set on the most economical, approach and the most efficient as well. When the extract is done by hand, mm. uh, the quality of oil is higher. Yeah. So yeah. maybe the method you choose uh, yeah. should be similar to that yeah. one. The hand processing is very key because they, they, they are able to select uh, well sound fruits that can now make extra virgin oil to lesser sound fruits that will go to make virgin and crude. Coming to your dry, drying method uh, is quite interesting and innovative. Thank you. And uh, this is something I would congratulate you and your team yeah. for, yeah. because using steam to heat a, to create a hot plate and drying, yeah. uh, I'm sure you have found it quite uh, easy to control the temperatures. Yeah. On average, the operating temperature is 70, 70 okay. degrees. Yeah, and what yeah. is the required for drying this? When you're doing uh, avocado oil for extra virgin, say you're doing extra virgin, you have to maintain a temperature below 50. Okay. Uh, which is manageable. For the crude quality we, we, we are producing here, anything below 100 degrees is good enough. Okay. Yeah, okay. It, doesn't, it doesn't interfere with the parameter as much. Okay. Yeah. As an expert, how can you help us improve on the system? Scaling this up for, for it to be manufacturable across the country, if you have an order of a similar system, that's by use of standard parts and uh, the standard methods of production. That's a way we can help you. The advantage of using steam, the innovator is using in this case, is because steam is easy to manage and you can easily control the temperature of, uh, of such a system. So, uh, you're able to maintain the temperature and therefore get a qual high quality oil from the process as compared to the existing methods. There are a few things which the, the innovator can enhance. Uh, there is quite a bit of loss of heat energy, which uh, the innovator may reduce through lagging the pipes. As you can see, the pipes from the uh, boiler to the drying beds, there is a bit of losses. The innovator can enhance that by lagging. The water recycling system is going to be very useful for the innovator. And of course, the, the water is a resource, it's quite expensive. What needs to be done to this market currently, or to this sector is to, to promote uh, uh, this kind of innovation, which, which are likely to bring high quality products or oils. And uh, through government agencies such as Kenya National in Innovation, uh, innovators such as Ken can be promoted to acquire uh, better systems. There are ways these kind of uh, in in innovators can be promoted. Uh, but one of the, the opportunity 
the country has is through the county government. Uh, the county government have an opportunity to protect uh, these uh, kind of innovators and otherwise it would be through the tax incentives, relief on uh, power bills and other utilities. It's because uh, these kind of innovations and inventions are the ones which are going to promote uh, manufacturing, industrialization and Vision 2030 of our country.